Hi, and welcome to this project demonstration in the course Adaptive Signal Processing. We have designed an acoustic communication system based on orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. Here we are at Angstrom Laboratory in a classroom, and here's the setups going to be used during the demonstration. Here's a computer with MATLAB, here's a sound card, and over here we got a communication link with the speaker and microphone. Four different cases will be shown in this demonstration. So let's start introduce you to the first one. What we're going to do first is to show you how adaptive modulation works. An OFDM system uses parallel subcarriers and this system uses 512. During transmission the subcarriers will fade differently. So those subcarriers with weak channel conditions will use a lower modulation than the others. The transmission starts with a pilot, that is a known sequence for both the sender and the receiver. The received pilot will estimate the channel quality that is used to des decide modulation, which is sent back to the sender, which uses this to modulate the next block of data. Now blocks of data are going to be sent to the receiver, and all blocks starts with a pilot, and this process keeps going on and on. We're now transmitting four blocks of data. Let's go. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Um, to the left, it's a graph that shows the signal-to-noise ratio in the frequency range we used. To the right here, it's an image of the adaptive modulation used in the transfer. Orange represents 16 QAM and yellow 64. And the red parts over here, they are only modulated with QQAM. Let's look at the result. Um, about uh, 27,500 bits were transferred and none went wrong. And we can see here that all four blocks they had a spectral efficiency of about 4.5. Communication with disturbance. The frequency range we previously used is between 5,383-6,761 Hz. Now we're going to introduce disturbances on 5,700 and 6,450 Hz. And this little experiment will show you how the system adapts to this. Let's get some disturbance here and transmit two blocks of data here. Okay, let's have a look on the results. Um, to the left, we see the signal-to-noise graph again, but now we see two dips at the disturbance frequencies. To the right, we have the transfer image. We see, as previously, the adaptive modulation, which shows two black regions. This corresponds to an outage, meaning that those subcarriers are not used because of detected disturbance. What's going to happen now is I jazz up the system, just a little bit. Uh, we're going to play with diversity. It's a similar procedure as last time. First, a pilot is transmitted to the receiver. But now the receiver uses diversity, spatial diversity. The channels from three different microphones are added up constructively with maximal ratio combining. This gives us a stronger signal which, use, which allows us to use higher modulations. This information is sent back to the transmitter who uses this to modulate the next block of data and sends it and this process continues. Here's the spatial diversity with the three microphones. Let's go. Yeah, we see here everything is completely yellow. So thanks to the diversity, we've been able to use the highest possible modulations on all the subcarriers. And below here, we see the results. 
we sent or transmit about 49,000 bits and none went wrong. You see this four blocks of data that have been sent and they all have a spectral efficiency of about six. Let's see what our diverse city system can do on the motion. A huge problem here is the subchannels. They all change a lot with a very, very small moment. This system is designed with a fallback mode. So when motion is detected, the system will be in a safe mode, meaning that the transmission will be in low modulation and with coding. I will now mode the speaker during the transmission. Let's see how it goes. Okay, let's have a look on the result. What we see here is first a yellow column in the transfer image. That is sent while the system was steady. It's all modulated in 64 QAM. The next two red columns were sent while the system in motion. Those are sent in what we call the safe mode. I then let the system stabilize. You see it's a yellow column, and then I mode it again, you see the red column, and then I finally let it stabilize. Um, so let's have a look further down. We see that we had sent about 55,000 bits and none went wrong. On those blocks we sent, we see that those sent while the system is steady has a higher spectral efficiency, about six. And those sent in motion has a spectral efficiency about 0.33. Thank you for watching this project demonstration. The creator of this project is Oscar Eriksson, Matthias Dalevi, and me, Christian Govella.